Hey everyone, I thought I'd show you how I designed and made this sign using uh, SketchUp and the CNC machine. So here is the finished sign. Um, it's actually made out of expanded PVC. It's going to be mounted in between um, two posts on kind of a main street in town here. Um, and the person who came to me to make this sign um, had kind of a general idea of what they wanted it to look like, but we really needed to lay it out um, in something like SketchUp to really figure it out. So um, this is uh, an actual 3D model um, of the sign. So we've got some you know, channels that'll be routed in here and then some 3D text. Uh, and this is uh, some PVC that was painted blue and then we're gonna mill it away. Um, and I used SketchUp and Faber to uh, lay out the, and make the sign. So I'll show you really quickly how I did it. Um, I essentially started with, you know, we had somewhat of an idea of the overall size. So I modeled the blanks uh, like this in SketchUp. And um, to get the text in, it's actually pretty simple. You can use the 3D text tool in SketchUp. It's over in this toolbar here. Um, when you open it up, yours probably looks like this. It'll say filled and extruded text, and you can type in whatever text you would like, like this. Um, and what I did is actually a little bit of a trick. If you just uncheck filled and uncheck extruded, um, you can go into fonts here as well, and you can pick your fonts, and you can pick the height of the fonts, and click place and put that text right here on your part um, pretty easily. And I'm actually gonna make this a little lighter so it encompasses the text. And so what we did when we were kind of like figuring out the layout of the sign, you'll see when I put the text in initially, it's a component. So it's something that you can uh, move around, um, rotate and scale however you would like. So I put in all these different uh, text blocks, you know, the scenic and extraordinary windows and doors and window company and such. And we kind of moved them around, played with the scaling and the sizing and the layout until we got it right. And then once we got it right, um, I right clicked each uh, area of text and clicked explode. And so that explodes the text down into individual vectors. Now, a um, little trick when you do this, sometimes to make this work really, really well in SketchUp, you want to go back to Edit and Copy, and then Edit and Paste in Place. Um, and that makes it so these little tiny bits of geometry um, create separate faces here. Um, so if you run a new problem and you have some faces that aren't working, just copy it and paste it again and, and just do that uh, Paste in Place. Uh, and that'll make it work for you. So um, from there, I just use the Push-Pull tool, and I Push-Pull down, so let's say we want to push this down point 0.1, uh, and then when you double click on each individual letter, it will push pull that down the same amount. So I went through um, and as you can see here, that makes it like 3D text. So that's what I did on all of these uh, different pieces of um, these pieces of PVC here to make all these blanks. Um, once that was done, I made this component just like you would do for uh, creating a Faber sort of optimized component. I clicked the Faber export button and got that SVG that um, you would create kind of making anything else. Once I got that SVG, I brought that over into, um, in my case, Aspire, or you could do this in vCarve or Illustrator or some other program if that's what you're using. Um, and what you get are, um, just like any other Faber import, you get all of the different depths on different layers. And what I did here is I actually put the smaller text, this is the stuff I wanted to v-carve, I made it a little deeper so that it was on its own layer, 0.13. I made this channel uh, a little uh, 0.175, it's actually a little deeper, so that is on a different layer. Um, same thing with Scenic. And so you can see, and I, I went through and I colored all these so you can see it better here on the screen. But I have all the stuff on um, different layers. What I also did, and this is another pro tip in SketchUp, if you look really closely, um, you'll see that some of the curves on these fonts are chunky. And that's because SketchUp makes these into kind of chunky curves. Um, and that's just sort of how it works. And so what I did is, you can see my curves here are smoother. And so what I did to accomplish that is I found, so in this case, the scenic is on layer uh, 0.125. So I right clicked it um, and said select layer vectors and that will select all of the vectors on that layer and I went into Vectrix um, curve fit so this is kind of like a smoothing button tool that they have um, and I click that and I fooled around with some of the settings and I was able to smooth out all of these vectors and once I did that I actually in this one I manually created tool path so I'll show you how I did it on this v-carve one here I went in um, selected my v-bits set my feeds and speeds as I normally would 
And then if you go down here to vector selection, I went in here and I said closed vectors because when Faber brings in um, a file, it's all nice, clean, closed loop vectors. Now I'm gonna click associate and find the layer that these uh, that this text is on. So in this case, I want to V carve all of this blue text here. Um, and if I click that, you can see it selects all of the text that I want to V carve. Press close, press calculate, and now I've got tool paths that are ready to go. Um, so this is kind of skipping the sort of built-in um, automatic toolpath building that Faber has because that does not support yet uh, V carving. So this is how you do something like a sign. Um, so then I took this file, saved it out, and here it is um, milling it out. Hey.